In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Come, Holy Spirit, fill the heart of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your divine love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant us by the same Holy Spirit to release what is right and just and always to rejoice in his consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 A proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. Lord. Thank you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, you shall not kill, and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. And whoever says to his brother, Raka, will be unsettable to the Sanhedrin. And whoever, and whoever says, you fool, will be liable to fiery Jehenna. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar and there recall that your brother has not anything against you, leave your gift there at the altar. Go first and be reconciled with your brother. And then come and offer your gift. Settle with your opponent quickly while on the way to court. Otherwise, your opponent will hand you over to the judge, and the judge will hand you over to the guard, and you will be thrown into prison. Amen, I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Italian. The three pointers for today's gospel. Number one, forgiveness must be interiorized. This involves a deep change of heart towards the person who have hurt us, not just mere superficial words. Number two, in many ways, it is easier to forgive others than to ask the forgiveness from someone. This is more difficult because it requires humility to acknowledge and admit our wrongdoings. Number three, in any conflict, both sides are at fault. No one is totally blameless. Thus, we must first seek forgiveness from God. Then we ask him for the healing graces we need to resolve the conflict. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Tita Lynn. So today's gospel is about reconciliation, about forgiveness. The one of the most challenging uh situations in our life. No, to forgive. To forgive is easy, no, easier than to ask for forgiveness. Yun. Because it takes a lot of humility, talaga, if you ask for forgiveness, ba. And then it's true, Tita Lino, as a as per three pointers, no. Uh, um, don't blame one another because in in any situation, no, there are there are both of you to be blamed. So just like uh, what I have been saying, no, no, na it takes two to tango, no. It takes two to tango. So and and also um. Uh, forgiveness, no, which is a everyday challenge, ate, no. Um, even the even the person who has hurt you more, even if uh, the unlovable, um, it's it's not easy. It's a challenge to forgive, no. Um, it takes a lot of uh, humility. It takes a lot of grace from god in order to forgive somebody like fully forgive somebody um i was um um i was uh, saying before no na thank you lord for the for the for the forgiveness no for the give forgiveness for those people who have hurt me no it's not it's not for them it's for myself the healing is 
myself. For those who forgive, it's a healing for you, not healing of the relationship, not healing of an of, of the other person, but it's your own healing if you forgive. Amen. 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 Uh, Tito Edmond, you have something to say? Yeah, uh, yes, thank you. Uh, good morning, good evening, everyone. So right now, um, today's gospel reading from Matthew you know, emphasizes the importance of reconciliation and inner righteousness. Jesus Christ challenges his disciples to exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, emphasizing that true righteousness goes beyond mere adherence to the law. He delves into deeper matters of the heart, highlighting that harboring anger and contempt towards others can be just as detrimental as physical violence. It's very important to, to forgive. Remember in our monthly mass, uh, previously with Father Danny, he, um, in his homily, he imparted to us that when we forgive, we see a new horizon. When we forgive, it conquers death. It's very beautiful to forgive. Though it's really, you know, as what Tita MJ mentioned earlier, but it takes a lot of humility to forgive someone. You know, I know we have our 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 pride, you know, part of being human, we have our pride. You no, know? it's really it's really hard to overcome that pride. But that is the challenge of the gospel today. You know, let us forgive. You know, in in this Lenten season, it is it is a must for us Catholics or Christians to reconcile. And in reconciliation, there is the we can see the beauty of you know the blessing of Jesus, the blessing of God. You no, know? Jesus Christ urges us to prioritize reconciliations with our brothers and sisters before offering our gifts at the altar. This underscores the significance of repairing relationships and seeking peace you know, with others as an essential aspect of our spiritual journey. Additionally, Jesus advises to settle disputes swiftly to avoid escalation and potential harm. In essence, the gospel today invites us to reflect on the state of our relationships and the condition of our hearts. It calls us to strive for inner righteousness that is rooted in love, compassion, and reconciliation with others. Furthermore, the call to settle disputes or reconciliation quickly resonates in a world where conflicts can escalate rapidly. Fueled by social media and instant communication, proactive efforts towards reconciliation can prevent further harm and contribute to a more peaceful society. So that means that if we forgive, it, it will lead us to a peaceful life, a peaceful home, a peaceful family, a peaceful relationship with each other, a peaceful society. Lastly, the timeless wisdom of today's gospel challenges us to embody the values of compassion, forgiveness, and reconciliation in our temporary context, is striving to build a world where love and understanding prevail. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Tito Edmond. Very true, no? It's about reconciliation. It's about being, um, being humble, humility, compassion, and eventually love. Eventually love, peace. Yun. That's the message of today's gospel. Thank you very much, Tito Edmond. Um, You're welcome, uh, Bell, to Yeah. Bell, um, uh, do you have... Uh, uh, the three points that Father Tito emphasized in his homily is, number one, surpassing the righteousness and holiness of the Pharisees because the scribes and the Pharisees were just uh, showing the externals not the interior. Uh, it's more of hypocrisy that they displayed mm -hmm. rather than integrity and 
deepening the interiority of the practice in their lives. So there's no alignment between the external and the internal which they display. So we should live out integrity and we should uh, interiorize the values that we learn from the Lord. Practice it externally and internally too. And the second is deepening our spirituality, deepening our uh, religious practices, our prayerful life, to deepen our spiritual lives. There should be also an alignment between what we preach and what we practice. And the third is to be reconciled with God and our fellow men. It's not only enough, it's not enough to ask forgiveness from the Lord, excluding forgiving our fellow men who have wronged us. So we should uh, ask forgiveness from the Lord and at the same time forgive those who have offended us. And we we can do that if we humble ourselves and ask for the grace from the Lord to forgive others. Amen. 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 Thank you, Belho. I remember the gospel when when we had our our monthly holy mass, but that is about our Father, the Lord's prayer. Mm -hmm. No, so mm -hmm. I I just remember. No, how can you pray? With all your heart, this Lord's prayer, which um, yeah, it, it has a line th that says, "And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us." Yun. Nakakagilty. You you cannot pray our Father wholeheartedly if you if you ask for forgiveness. No, if you ask for forgiveness and yet you don't forgive the one, the 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 people who have hurt you. So, so it's um, our Father is the, is for me the most beautiful prayer, no? And then, and then the the most challenging is uh, our pride, because when we when when we are proud, no, we cannot ask for apology, we cannot ask for forgiveness. It's easy to forgive. It's easier to forgive, no? But it is, it is challenging, to be humble and say i am sorry please forgive me especially for those who have hurt you kung baga, um even if it's not your fault just say i'm sorry even if it's not your fault so for, so the to to the, the one who asks for forgiveness or who apologizes first is the better person yun is he is the better person even if it's your fault or not, just say, I'm sorry, um, or forgive me. You are the better person. Just think about it. Amen. 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 But uh, Brother Edmund uh, shared, or what do you call this? It's uh, very exact. Exact, no. Tama yun. Unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and parents. Ano ba yung righteousness nila? They pray. They obey the commandments. Even the laws that they made, hundreds of laws, of, they, that even them they were not able to to obey. Kung ganun ang sa ating attitude, eh, well, hindi tayo nalalayo. So it's not just prayer. You have to do more. Not just obey the commandments. Do more. To your neighbors. To the least, sabi nyo nga, the least, the last. Yun. you do this, sabi nga eh, 
Ten Commandments is uh, summarized in two, the two. Love of God and love of neighbor. And if you do that, you have fulfilled, you have fulfilled the law. Now, it's about reconciliation. Tama-tama itong ikon, ano? Itong three pointers. Here. See, in many ways, it's easier to forgive others as than to ask for forgiveness. It's very difficult, sabi mga tita, and it's very hard to be humble. There's that pride. Kaya hindi tayo, hindi tayo makamove on when there is a conflict because of that pride. And that yeah. exactly is the temptation of the devil. The demon. Pride. So the, uh, the best solution that is prayer. Ask God for grace and help. In any conflict, it says here, both sides are at fault. It's true. No one is totally blameless. Thus, we must seek forgiveness from God. And then we ask him for graces we need to resolve the conflict. And uh, it's very hard to move on when somebody has... Uh, Anything against you. Napakahirap, no? We go to church. Say, sir, when you offer your gift, go first. Be very reconciled with your brother or anybody who has something, anything against you. And settle with your opponent. Yeah, to be able to move on, we have to pray for God's grace. Okay, let's end it there. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Tito Mani. So the message of today's gospel no, is about reconciliation, it's about forgiveness, it's about humility. Um, um about about humility and um um good relationship towards each other. And most most especially, you no, know, um um the Lord's Prayer, as we remember, no, mm -hmm. forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. The most beautiful prayer as taught to us by Jesus. And it requires us to ask for forgiveness and, and forgive others. Amen. 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 So for our closing prayer, no, all together we will say we will pray our Father with all our heart. Okay, all together, please. Our Father, oh, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, come. Thy will be thy done, will be done on, earth on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our bread and forgive us our trespasses, our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against, against, against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver but us, deliver from, us evil. from evil. Amen. 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 Uh, let, let's all pray the angel of God for our own protection, the protection of our family members and our loved ones. 
All together, please. Angel of God, Angel of God, my, God my guardian, guardian dear, dear, to God's whom love, God's love commits me, 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 me here. Ever this day, I will be at my side to light and guard, God, to rule and die. Amen. 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 And and glory be to the Father, and to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, Son, and to the Holy Spirit. as it was in the beginning, now, and ever, ever, and ever, and ever, ever shall be world, world without end. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you.